Hi, welcome to the tutorial series on 3D content creation for Replicate. My name is David Mullen and I'm a technical artist here at DISTI and I'll be going into some detail on some of the best practices that we utilize here and hopefully helping you get started and creating some of the same high quality content for your training purposes. For this video series, we'll be going into 3D Studio Max 2011, but the same principles can be applied to uh, any 3D Studio Max version supported by Replicate, and you can see those pictured below. So our first task is to verify that the Replicate exporter is available to us. So we'll go ahead and go to the export dialog box and check. Uh, we see the DISTI Replicate Equipment Exporter is here. Um, if you don't see it in the dialog box here, it's possible it has been installed. The plugin just might not be available, so you want to check the plugin manager. And if it's not located there, you may want to reinstall the Replicate Exporter. All right, so let's go ahead and open up one of the sample files available to you. We'll go into C Program Files, DISTI, Replicate, Replicate Exporter, and Samples. And we'll open up the LAMP. And we'll see here that we've got uh, just a simple LAMP scene right here. And the purpose of the scene is to replace a light bulb. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like in Replicate. Go ahead and export as an RAE file. Go to C projects and we'll call that lamp. And export. We see that the export is completed successfully. Now you can import the RAE file directly into the Replicate editor, uh, but for our purposes, developing 3D content, uh, we'll want to utilize the Replicate Equipment Previewer as we're only interested in some of the look development uh, of our models and animations. So we'll go ahead and open this up. We'll be utilizing this throughout the tutorial series, so we should get familiar with it. Uh, we'll specify the lamp that we've just exported. All right, we're faced with a two with two options here. Uh, we've produced a video on the Replicate Equipment Previewer. Uh, I suggest that you check that out. We'll link that below for you. But for now, we're only interested in seeing what we've just uh, exported from 3D Studio Max. So let's open up the exploration mode. Now, first thing that we'll want to do is maneuver around the scene. And if you're familiar with Max Navigation, you should already be familiar with the Replicate Equipment Previewer as you'll Alt, Middle Mouse Click to rotate around the scene. You'll use Middle Mouse Pan. And you'll use Middle Mouse Wheel to zoom in. So very similar to Max in that regard. Uh, in addition, you can also use right-click to rotate around the scene. Uh, so it's just whatever you're um, more comfortable with. Uh, we can see the max object hierarchy located over here in the, in the parts list. So we can start grabbing some of those objects and moving them around the scene. Uh, in addition, you can just move objects around uh, if you just want to check out the look development on some of the uh, burnt out bulb here, um, you can check that out. And once you're done, uh, once you're happy with the, with the way things are looking for your final product, we can go ahead and re reassemble all the pieces. You'll want to get into the habit of utilizing this Replicate Equipment Previewer as uh, Replicate does resemble as closely as possible the output from 3D Studio Max. There can be differences uh, depending on um, the methods that the artist has been using. 
So you'll want to make sure that the animations and the shaders do look similar. So that's about it for this video. Uh, we'll be going into some of the object classes that are supported um, in Replicate uh, during our next video. So I hope to see you there.